Hey, what's up, guys? Tech from I'll be here back here with another comparison for you guys. Now, this is going to be a comparison between iOS 7 and iOS 8. What's new and what's different? Let's get started with the video. Alright guys, here we are with the full comparison between iOS 8 on the iPhone 4S and iOS 7 on the iPhone 4. So these are two iPhones I have right here. And, um, both of these devices are running their latest firmware update. So it seems that they're stopping uh, a lot of support for things. So let's go into the full comparison. Uh, so you can see I have both of these running um, iOS. This is iOS 8.0 over here and iOS 7.1.1 over here. So there's nothing really different, uh, visually everything looks almost identical the same. The only thing that I see that's different here, if you go to the phone menu, okay, you go to the phone menu, that just glitched out on me, okay, go to the phone menu, and then, if you can see here, go to the phone menu, type in, for example, 611, press call on both devices, and then, as you can see, it looks kind of different, these look kind of more um, more straightforward and it looks like they use a different type of text as you can see if you have a contact name up here it does look a bit different now I do like that another thing that they do include in iOS 8 that they don't include in iOS 7 is the feature where you get to just press the home button twice so you see you can do that on both devices but the advantage on iOS 8 is that you can actually call, as you can see, I got my mom there, got John Scott, I'll leave his link down in the description. Um, got got some, got some a couple different people here. That's one advantage you get in iOS 8 if you do update instead of iOS 7.1. So if you do, make sure you have the 4S or above. They also have this new health application, it's called Health. You can actually do different things like do health, you can do diagnosis, fitness, lab results, medication, nutrition, sleep, vital signs, and also checking on yourself. Uh, you can have sources from apps to collect data in the new iOS 8 beta 1 and there will be more future videos covering these as new betas come up and as they fix new bugs uh, they do have this new bug reporter I like this because the bug reporter actually gives you the opportunity to report bugs via your Apple ID account or your developer account um, so basically what happens is you just report the bugs, you log in, and then you report any bugs you're having with the iOS 8 beta. Then in beta 2, they'll try to fix those. If there's still flaws, you know, this is only a beta. The full software will definitely come out in around September. As you can see, this include iBooks, which is something that you could only find on the Mac before. Uh, this doesn't actually have it. It's not that I deleted or anything. This does not have it. Okay, so you can say iBooks from your MacBook that you've had. As you said, would you like to use your Apple ID to sync your bookmarks, notes, and collections between devices? So you can do those things, sync your Safari bookmarks, and syncs a lot of different things. That's why it's called iBook. That's just a comparison between iOS 8 and iOS 7. Anyways, guys, thanks so much for watching the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please make sure to like this video, share it with all your friends, like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more weekly tech videos like this. I'm Tech from Zara